I'm Victoria Cooksey here in Port Townsend, Washington. Today we're going to be talking about white chocolate. I'm going to review four different bars and what you need to do is take everything you know about white chocolate, throw it out the window because white chocolate has come so far as of recent times. You normally think lots of vanilla, sugar, different things like that, maybe not even cocoa butter, not so anymore. First up, Okisan chocolate. This is a 43% white chocolate bar, and that means 43% cocoa butter. It's a single plantation coming out of Madagascar. This has notes of butteriness, cream, even a hint of salt, and some buttermilk. I found this one actually on Amazon.com, but you can find it in fine chocolate stores as well. Next up, we have a limited edition bar by Askinosi. This particular bar I have is number 517 out of only 1,098. The reason they went with 1,098 series, which is going to also be a more limited edition bars down the road, is based off of when these Trappist monks were founded in 1,098. This pouch it comes in is actually made by the monks. The chocolate itself, the white chocolate I should say, this side I've eaten half of it, so just ignore that part. It, is, <laughs> um, it comes out of the Philippines, and it's the first pressing. So if you can see that color, that's from the first pressing. There's like a little bit of cocoa still left in it. Then you flip it over, bam, and it's got aged cocoa nibs from Tanzania. And these were aged for two years. So the flavors I get in this bar overall, I get green tea and rice and cereal. I get like brie cheese. I get a touch of saltiness in the nibs and a little bit of milk chocolate on the nose as well and some floral notes. So there's so much going on with this bar, I don't even quite know what I think of it yet. So now that I film this, I can eat the rest of it and make more decisions. Sometimes makers are adding flavors to the white chocolate as well. This one is made by Lauren who does weekend chocolate. She also does the Well Tempered Podcast, so be sure to check that out on iTunes too. She's located in Denver, Colorado, and this bar Gold in color comes from turmeric. It's the turmeric of a goat thing with goat's milk in it. So you definitely do get the turmeric and the goat's milk coming through. There's cayenne pepper, which really builds throughout, and some cardamom as well. So if you like a little flavor in your bar, this is another good choice. Our last but not least bar is the Edelweiss bar by Original Beans. This is 40% cocoa butter. It's coming out of the Dominican Republic. And with this bar, they don't put any vanilla, so hence the whiter color, so Edelweiss like the flower. This has notes of creme anglaise and citrus and a little bit of white pepper. So hopefully we've tempted you to try white chocolate. I know I hadn't really enjoyed it for several years and now I'm really into it. Another one to look for if you are more a, no, I really want my vanilla, is Chocolat Madagascar. It has a bar that's just filled with tons of vanilla bean seeds. So if you want the vanilla, go for that. But I think pretty much all the ones I showed you today, I don't think any of them have vanilla in it. And they have this real cocoa butter. So seek out single origins, cocoa butters from other countries, people that are pressing their own cocoa butter for their bars. It's exciting time. So I hope I've tempted you into trying some more white chocolate. Be sure to look at below this video for all my links, how to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, all that jazz, and my blog, Dark Matters Fine Chocolate Reviews. And on top of that, I'll put some links for where you can find these bars. And oh, this last one I found on Amazon as well, so you can hopefully find it there. See you next time. Thanks for watching.